According to police, this was an accidental death or sat down with Father Ackerman of these mother Thursday afternoon. He was kind of like father feel instead of a teenage boy. He was the leading uh, man in the house. She strongly disputes any talk that her son may have wanted to harm himself. No, 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 no. She wishes there was better communication between her family and the police department, telling us no one told her a statement on her son's death would be released on Wednesday. All of a sudden, I saw on the news that the keys will be uh, closed. Tonight, Des Moines police say it's completed the investigation into the disappearance and death of Roosevelt High School senior Abdullahi Sharif. Police believe Sharif either jumped from the bridge or accidentally fell from it. The case is not closed for me. The Polk County Medical Examiner, examiner determined that Sharif had no traumatic injuries to his body. The case is not closed yet. Abdi Sharif's family spoke publicly Tuesday for the first time since hearing the devastating news that the 18-year-old's body was discovered. The way it ended, we're not too happy with that, and uh, we are here together today uh, to pray for him. Police had very few clues to go on. A final Snapchat Abdi sent said he got very bad news, indicating he was upset. Family is pleading for information. They don't understand why Abdi, who they say was terrified of water, ended up in the Des Moines River. Police say his body had no signs of trauma. We leave no stone unturned. We don't know. So that's why we need to know. According to a petition on change.org, it reads, he was not suicidal. He was a happy and sweet boy, loved by everyone who knew him. However, police are not looking into this case as there are, quote, no traumatic injuries, unquote, to his body. There's very little, if any, media coverage on his mysterious death, and his family and friends believe foul play is involved. Abdullahi deserves justice. Please share and bring this back to light because this family and Abdi, they need justice.